Hello, welcome to Fitness Training Solutions YouTube channel. My name is Ben Brook, and today I'm going to take you through um, a question that I had from um, Karen Sindel. She said, Ben, what's the best form of cardio without jeopardizing muscle loss? Okay, so there's lots of research papers out there, so I'm going to select two research papers today. One's from the Journal of um, Strength and Conditioning Research. This uh, they published a paper by Wong. Now, Wong and a few of his associates, they basically looked into the effects of pre-season concurrent muscular strength and endurance interval training in professional soccer, <coughs> stroke football, players. After eight weeks of high intensity intervals, aerobic endurance and strength training, they did all the different tests that were needed for the study. And they concluded that um, the effects of strength and aerobic endurance resulted in a reduced mitochondrial density and decreased oxidative enzyme activity. So therefore, it's important to reduce max strength training when doing endurance because it's going to have a detrimental effect to your endurance training, if you're an endurance training athlete. Seeing as Karen's email um, question was about um, strength training, the study did actually then go on to say uh, that high intensity interval training were more effective at maintaining hypertrophy. It was also reported that there was improvements in maximal cardiac output and skeletal muscle, which is obviously the muscles that around our bones. Another study um, I looked at was um, the European Journal of Applied Physiology, and the paper that was published was by Hickson. This study was strength development by simultaneously training strength and endurance this time. And that paper concluded with finding that after 10 weeks of strength training, there was a significant improving, uh, improvement in strength and hypertrophy. So by adding endurance, they found that the improvements that they were gaining from the strength training and the hypertrophy decreased at probably week seven or eight, they reckon. So that shows you one, that by adding endurance training, there was a reduction after seven and eight, whereas with just strength training, the hypertrophy effects happened all the time. So where does that leave us? Well, first of all, what you want to think about is that no two people are the same. So if you are training a client generically and giving them all the same program, they're never going to develop because it's not specific to their needs. I would advise that you do research, academic research, look at some journals, uh, specifically the ones that I've looked into, um, and give it a go yourself. Me personally, I quite like doing HIIT training. I think HIIT training gets the workout done quicker. It's beneficial. It's got lots of benefits um, to your training. You need to be aware that long, laborious cardiovascular training is boring. And you know you need to think about what's going to be more functional to an individual. Do you want your client to be training for hours and hours, doing endless cardio to get their weight down to a certain position without losing muscle? No, probably not. So, And they don't want to do that either. Most people want to get in the gym within about 45 minutes to an hour. These are average people. We're not talking about bodybuilders or anyone that's working specific muscle groups. We're talking about the average Joe out there that wants to benefit from training. Um, they want to lose, mu lose a little bit of fat and they want to maintain or gain muscle. So they need one, a good strength conditioning program, um, and then two, they need to personally do HIIT training. Um, you wouldn't want to do it every day because, again, it becomes laborious and you're looking at potential injuries. But certainly, you know, three to four times a week um, of high intensity training with a mixture of um, endurance based training as well is going to be beneficial to the average person. Um, for you, trying to gain muscle or not lose muscle, I suggest uh, HIIT training, to be honest. If you've got any questions, have a uh, look online, get back to me, um, share my page please, and give us a like, and I'll speak to you soon.